Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mad Swine Backyard Barbecue. We're in that backyard. I'm the Mad Pit Master Ruben. Today, we aren't barbecuing. We aren't grilling. We're going to beat the heat with some beer and ceviche. My style. Watch out. Alright guys, we can't handle ceviche without a proper beer. So let me tell you what I drink, how I drink it, because we can't let this one escape us. This is Modelo Especial. This is what I love to drink when it's when it has to do with seafood or just a, a good refreshing uh, escape from this heat. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. cut these I'm gonna cut these in eighths so I cut them in half first and then in, in, into fourths so I'm gonna get these guys like right here and then I'm gonna get some salt Salt's gonna go on one half of that dish and then some tahine oh man you can't have a beer without tahine not this one That's going to go on this side. Tahine is what we use to put over fruits and stuff like that. And just enhances the flavor. makes it just that much better. All right. With this guy here, I'm going to rim the glass. I'm going to rim it with, uh, with lime. Right there. Bam, I got half of it with tahini, the other half with, with salt. This, this uh, glass was in the freezer in the ice for about half an hour. And I have another little glass with some ice because I'm going to put some in there in a minute. I'm going to get a little bit of salt, put some salt in there, a little bit of tahini, put some tahini in there. And then I am, hold on. Put it with half a lime. Bam. Let's open up this beer. Put some ice in it first. Actually, important part, one side with the salt, other side with the tahini. A little bit of salt, a lot of bit of salt, tahini, salt, let me tell you, this right here, this is good drinking, don't even worry about that foam, it ain't gonna stop me, mm. this by itself is a treat. Oh yeah, now we're ready for some ceviche. Stay tuned. All right, so when it comes to ceviche or chiles, we're blessed to have markets out here that just do the best jobs possible. I mean, why go through having to make it yourself when you can just buy it and just have really good product? So like this one here, we have 
Sinaloa style shrimp ceviche. And this stuff right here, this is just killer. This is really, really spicy. This is really, really hot. I mean, it's, it's, this is not no tame ceviche at all. Aroa Chiles. Here, we got octopus and shrimp. And I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's loaded. Really good stuff here. And this is exactly what I said. Shrimp and octopus ceviche. This guy here is called Black Aguachile, Aguachile Negro. And this is also, this is a little bit milder than the Sinaloa version, but very, very good. Full of like, of lemon and, and cucumber and just, it's cilantro, onions. It's really, really good. I choose Sinaloa with some pulpo. And this is what I use. And then uh, for my fiance, my lovely camera lady, she likes the negra with pulpo. And then as you see here, normally we use just straight up avocados, but they just they just weren't the best at this time around. So I went ahead and got this really good uh, guacamole that is pretty thick. Look at that. That that ain't no cream style. This is real thick with onions and tomatoes. And so, you know, second best, I'm going to go for this. And what you see here is mayonnaise. And yep. Yeah, Queso fresco. And I know this doesn't kind of mix. You're kind of like, what the hell is cheese doing around, you know, ceviche? But trust me, you're in for a treat. And that ain't even the craziest ingredient. What I'm going to throw into this mix is going to upset a lot of people out there. I'm like five minutes away from the border. People are going to look at this and go, what the hell is this guy doing? But then another kind of, another set of people are going to say, holy crap, I'm going to try that. So let me tell you, this is what we do here at my house, and everyone that tries this loves it. Secret ingredient, bam, Doritos Flamas. And you get helicopters coming to your house like that, which you hear in the background, for Doritos Flamas. We ain't doing tostadas, we ain't doing uh, tortilla chips, we're doing Doritos Flamas. This is what... And I've tried other variety of flavors. This right here works the best. This is how it's done. Open this bad boy up. Put it right on the plate. Toss it to the side. Get your mayonnaise. Drizzle it over the Doritos. I know, I get it, I'm not a mayonnaise guy, but this works, trust me. Then, we're gonna get some ceviche. I'm missing a spoon. But I found a fork, we're all good. I'm gonna get my Sinaloa style, put it right on top. Sorry guys, get in there. Oh yeah. Hey, get up in there. Make it look pretty. I'm gonna get some of the pulpo pull kind. Put it on top of that. I think that's enough. And I'm gonna get some queso fresco. This, I get it. This is really not something you normally do, but I do it, and it's awesome. I'm gonna crumble that right on top of everything. There she goes. And then, this is where I would get sliced avocado and just slide it right over everything out, and, and it would work like that. But I have no choice. This is what we got. I'm gonna put that right there. A little extra. Because I like some extra. All right. This, you guys, right here is what's cracking. This right here is a game changer. This is taking ceviche 
and giving a big middle finger to tradition and giving a good thumbs up to deliciousness. That's what this is right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Mmm. Hold up. Get up on there. Check this out. Mmm. Let me try something. Oh my god. Only thing missing from this is my beer. I don't know where I put it, but you gotta try this. Make your own ceviche, buy your own ceviche, whatever. Get you some Doritos Flama. Drizzle it with some mayonnaise. Put the agua chiles or the ceviche of your choice on top. Put a little bit of queso fresco. And some avocados. And if you don't got avocados, some good uh, guacamole. I'm telling you, another level right here. You know what? Hate to do this. I'm going to have to see you guys next time. Because I need to go put this somewhere else. In my belly. See you next time. Yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification. And all right, you guys, I hope you liked that video. There's more to come. I got a lot of ideas coming barbecue related. Jesus Christ. Hope you liked that video. A lot more to come, especially barbecue related. And a lot of ideas I want to share with you guys. But remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. Hit that notification button. Hell, hit this button. See you guys next time.